Hi, my name is Michael Kimmerl. I am the director of the Alfred Washburn Center. It is a day center for people who are uh, experiencing poverty um, and homelessness. We provide uh, four main services. Uh, we provide a laundry room to wash a load of laundry, a shower facility uh, for people to take a shower, mailbox service for people to have mail delivered um, in case they don't have an address and then we also uh, provide a sack lunch for uh, people to have something to eat um, uh, especially if they're leaving to go to work. I work mostly with uh, people who are street level homeless uh, or what they refer to as the chronic homeless. Uh, these are people who are, um, for one reason or another, are in and out of homelessness repeatedly, um, hence the name Chronic. Our facility also uh, works very much with the working poor in our community. So these are people who are either living in substandard conditions, um, yet are fully employed to try to make ends meet. So I have a lady that goes by the name of Jay. Uh, she has been living along railroad tracks in the woods for a number of years, at least a decade that I know, I'm aware of, but she has been employed for that entire decade that I've known her. She uh, helps out working at a food truck, uh, making sausage sandwiches and hot dogs and things like that, um, and off the income that she makes, it isn't enough to quite cover rent and utilities in, in Escambia County, so she uh, has chosen to live in the woods. Another couple um, that the husband works um, and the wife uh, is uh, basically a stay home or stay camp, however you would like to put it. and. Um, the money that he makes isn't, it, once again, isn't enough to pay rent and utilities. Uh, they don't really want to have roommates. Um, they're a married couple. Uh, they like their privacy, and so they they are living um, out here on the streets of Pensacola together as a couple out of their vehicle. Um, vehicle homelessness uh, is more expensive than street level homelessness because you have to keep your uh, vehicle up to date with all your tags, registration, insurance. Um, if not, you run the risk of getting fines. Um, it can further exacerbate the amount of time that you experience homelessness. Washburn Center itself is basically to put it simply, a triage unit. Um, we are uh, a lot of times the first recourse for people who are experiencing homelessness or find themselves in this crisis mode. In a lot of ways, what we do is we give them a place to shower, uh, do a load of laundry and clean themselves up, give them back their self-respect, and then we have a conversation with them, find out what their goals and aspirations are, and try to put them on the right path. I also am the director of another nonprofit that um, has an intentional homeless community on nine acres of land called Sean's Outpost, the property we call Shitoshi Forest. And um, there, our theory is that a lot of our clients that we have are in that crisis mode or survival mode. And so what they're focusing on is how to get through today. Um, and so there's not a lot of planning for the future. And so our goal there is to take someone and give them a good nutritious meal, uh, get them hydrated, and get them a good night's sleep. Uh, that gives them time to decompress and get the cognitive functioning necessary to focus on how to get themselves out of the situation that they find themselves in. So the, the causes of homelessness are about as diverse as any, any subject you could ever imagine. Uh, homelessness and poverty affect every demographic of our society. Causes can range, you know, from the most, you know, commonly mentioned uh, from drug and alcohol abuse all the way to 
someone was being nice enough to let someone stay at their house because they were experiencing homelessness and their landlord found out about it and removed everyone from the property. Just being a nice person can cause you to become homeless. Some of the other factors um, that I think is a major contributing factor is the lack of low income housing. I have a large segment of our homeless population here in Pensacola that are on disability or social security that when we look at their benefits and look at the cost of living in our area, the benefits that they receive do not cover the cost of living. They are not really given much of a choice other than to be homeless um, or get a roommate. And if that roommate doesn't successfully keep their end of the bargain, you end up becoming homeless anyway. Massive need in our community is definitely affordable housing. So when we say affordable housing, it's not what we really mean. Um, I've seen some wonderful housing projects pop up in our area that were under the guise of affordable housing and once the, the costs came out, school teachers and police officers and firemen couldn't afford it and so our working poor definitely isn't able to afford it. Like all nonprofits, uh, we always can use monetary donations. It's through the benevolency of our community that we're able to do the works that we do. But we also need more of us. So we have volunteer opportunities that range from the most menial of tasks to extremely physical labor, all the way to needing master electricians and plumbers. Like we, we, we have a project for everybody. Um, so uh, you can contact us. The Alfred Washburn Center is 31 Murphy Lane, Pensacola, Florida, 32505. Shitoshi Forest is 1999 Massachusetts Avenue, uh, Pensacola, Florida, 32505. And I am the director of both of those facilities. And my phone number is 850 287-0792.